Have you ever wondered how you can maximise the amount of XP that you're getting within World of Tanks console and how you can make a ridiculous amount of XP in general when playing the game, whether you're using your XP boost, whether you're using other events and what the best strategy is in terms of trying to grind through all of the tech trees whether you're playing cold war whether you're playing world war 2 whatever the game mode that you're playing whatever the tank line today's video is going to try and cover how you can do it we've got a bit of gameplay in the background that's just going to be uh, featuring some games where i took advantage of some of the xp and how you can do so too so first things first i want to talk about the XP mechanics, how you can actually get XP, how you can basically maximize the amount of XP just purely from the type of gameplay that you're actually going to be doing within World of Tanks console. Now, to start off with, what can we do? Well, effectively, you need to know about the, the actual contributions towards getting XP. Now, to start off with, that comes in the form of getting damage, getting assistance damage, getting enemies taken out within the game, all of it counts towards your XP. Now the biggest contributor from one single action is to destroy an enemy. Now if you destroy one you're going to get a lot more XP than for example if you just did one shot of damage. So even if you're doing less damage, because you've taken out an opponent it's counting more XP. So for example a game where you deal the most damage ever in World of Tanks comparatively to a game where you were to take out the entire enemy team, 15 enemies taken out in one singular game, then you would be able to get more XP unless you were to get like 15 damage or something like that and take out 15 opponents. Effectively, you get what I'm saying, if you can take out more opponents you'll get more XP, but it comes in a kind of a sliding scale where yeah you might do more damage and get barely any enemies taken out but equally sometimes it's best to be in the middle ground where you're getting lots of damage and also getting lots of enemies taken out so you have to kind of weigh it as long as you're basically focusing on just trying to get those enemies taken out whilst also de dealing the damage don't ever kind of avoid getting damaged purely because you're just trying to take out opponents that's not what I'm saying but if you can get the opportunity to take them out you really should take take advantage of that so that's just number one that's not really the biggest point of this video the biggest point is to detail how you can kind of um, use all of these extra tactics in terms of trying to get that XP to then push forward so that you're getting 10,000 XP a game uh, if you're boosting up uh, using some of the other attributes of World of Tanks console which come in the form of operations now if, for example, uh, you are a player that likes to just blitz your way through all the way to tier 10 as quickly as possible, then this is probably the best uh, video for you. Now, in terms of not having to do anything gameplay-wise, obviously spotting damage really helps in terms of XP as well, because you basically don't, uh, you don't, it doesn't cost you anything, and of course that it just adds to the damage, it doesn't stop you getting damage as well, so if you can do that, then that's really, really good as well. Um, but another thing that I want to kind of highlight is that you need to make sure that you are playing tanks that you're good at, for example. Yes, that doesn't particularly help when you're trying to grind for a tank line that you're not particularly um, used to or whatever it might be, but um, that's what the rest of this video is, is all about. It's for when maybe you can't perform any better and you're just trying to uh, think smart and be able to do it your way to get more XP. Now, in terms of doing that, right, so first things first, how can you get more XP without necessarily impacting the way that you're playing within the game? So what you can do is Wargaming release a lot of kind of additional bonuses that you can take advantage of in World of Tanks. Those come in the form of challenges, they come in the form of contracts, they come in the form of XP boosters, they come in the form of loads of different extras and optional extras uh, that you can take advantage of. And most recently, one of the best events you can possibly use is the premium bonus event, and that's what you're seeing me utilize in the background here. I am playing the SU. 12254 which is leading up to the object 263 and for every single game playing any tank that basically gets you to the object 263 you will get 50% more XP now what does that mean well other than the fact that you're getting more XP every game or at least 50% more um, what that means is that 
for every single game that you're playing you have to play essentially uh, two thirds of the games that it would take you so being very uh, mindful of where you want to spend your time on World of Tanks is is something that will help you out and it also avoids you getting like burnt out from playing like terrible tanks you know sometimes it's actually worth just not playing the terrible tank until events like this come on for the tank that you're kind of looking at now that is is kind of uh, self-explanatory but what I kind of want to showcase is that um, effectively you can minimize the amount of time that you're having to spend every single time and if you actually utilize these events which are 50% um, extra XP then you don't have to do literally anything within the game so if you're constantly using these events that Wargaming keep pushing out then you're able to effectively have to play two-thirds of the games that you would if you weren't utilizing them so this is really important um, in terms of like min maxing your experience of playing World of Tanks obviously you can jump in and play games where you wherever you want um, but this is purely in terms of getting more XP now then not only that do you get from using the kind of premium bonus operations but you have on track events where Wargaming release them for one specific line so for example right now there will be a French operation coming out on Tuesday as of the recording of this video it's an on track event for the entire line uh, or <laughs> the entire French line um, but there are various different other things as well so you kind of have to uh, make that up uh, in your own mind as to what you want to play so whether you take advantage of the premium bonus or whether you take advantage of um, the the on track event and sometimes sometimes these events coincide with one another so you could potentially get 50% more XP plus a further 25% more XP so you would be getting 75% more XP that means like you would have to play nearly half as many games as you would um, if you were just playing purely um, a normal tank with no bonuses whatsoever so that's really important in terms of uh, min maxing your game and that's something I always try and do if possible to kind of get my way through a lot of the tech trees obviously I only have a limited amount of time and I have to try and review so many different tanks on World of Tanks console for you over the like 600 videos that we've done now um, which takes its toll especially when you're trying to grind through um, you know 30 a week or whatever it might be um, or not 30 a week but 30 um, videos a, w a month and so yeah it's definitely important that you guys uh, focus your own time so that you don't have to spend as much time playing terrible tanks um, and even then uh, you can grind through a lot of the uh, kind of upgrade modules that you need to upgrade your tank with uh, to kind of go further and make yourself into a player that doesn't spend a load of time playing a stock tank because it's always really bad now then as far as just your pure bonus events we always have the season pass events as well and so for those of you that don't know every single season pass you get gold you get various different rewards that come with that and most importantly you're able to get XP boosters now XP boosters are super super useful for everyone that wants to use them you can see here we picked up 12,000 of XP within this replay right here which was amazing and that means that you know for a normal game you're probably getting one and a half thousand XP whereas we got nearly 12,000 just in one time of course we do have a premium account and we were using times five XP boosters in this result um, but you can see if we it's like nearly 10 times more XP than if we were to just play uh, standard wise so um, that just highlights it but XP boosters you can get them from the season pass you can get them from Wargaming giving them away for free as part of operation so if you can get your hands on as many XP boosters as possible every single one you get it's going to at least double the amount of experience that you're going to be getting because the the lowest you can get I believe is like a two times XP booster you may be able to get one and a half times I can't remember but effectively every one you get means that you get a game for free if you get a five times XP booster it means you get five games for free and especially if you can uh, use the, these when you're at kind of the uh, fully upgraded version of the tank that's the best time to use them because you are more guaranteed to have a better result and therefore be able to get towards the next tank quicker because you will be getting more base experience within the game which means that you'll be able to get more or total experience and so the booster works more effectively than if you were to use it at the beginning simultaneously 
you know, you could also argue that there would be uh, more benefit to actually using it at the beginning so that you get the better tank so you can then get the more XP for the longer period. Um, but yeah, work it out for your own kind of ends, whether you think it's better to use them straight away. I usually use them just all of the time, but that's just because I have like an inordinate amount of XP boosters from over seven years of playing World of Tanks console, but where you get them, make sure to use them on the tanks that you hate playing because that's going to be the best way to do it. And it also means you're saving yourself a ton of time. So if you combine the fact that you're saving vehicle XP um, via playing just using the premium bonus operations that we've got there in the challenges tab for those of you that want to find them in the game and it also means uh, that you can then use the XP boosters so in essence you can literally guarantee yourself like a third of the games that you have to play comparatively if you aren't using XP boosters, if you aren't using the premium bonus, if you aren't doing all of the optional extras that can get you there a hell of a lot faster and it's meant that I've been able to grind through things like the tortoise from literally like zero all the way up to like a like both of the tier 10 tank destroyers that lead off of it the badger and the fv215b183 in like a minimal time i've been able to play like a hundred and something games in the tortoise which considering you have to get like nearly 500,000 xp you can see how much xp that this really does save you and it really is kind of something that i would recommend you do obviously for those of you that don't know, if you don't have vehicle XP boosters in the garage that you can apply to your tanks, then it might not be that easy to do. So one thing that I want to highlight within that kind of statement is that sometimes you have to play more, um, you have to adjust your playstyle to kind of contribute towards getting XP. So. One key thing is that you could potentially uh, go for more XP by playing for the long game. Now I'm not saying you should camp in any of the games because that doesn't usually yield the most amount of XP but what you need to do is adjust your playstyle and in doing so you can actually end up performing better in the games. You can actually end up not end like <laughs> resulting in like super uh, early losses especially if you are using XP boosters especially if you're trying to make your time um, as efficient as possible when playing World of Tanks console, then you want to make sure that you aren't just YOLOing in at the beginning of the game. Obviously, some people think that that's a brilliant idea, but for those of you with a bit of a brain, you'll know that surviving to the end of the battle is going to yield you way more XP than if you were to just YOLOing in at the start of the battle and get like 300 XP. Remember as well, don't bother capping because it will limit the amount of XP you're getting in a singular game. Also, sometimes it's also really important that you do kind of go for cap reset so that you make sure that you aren't getting capped by the enemy team. There's been a few games where actually on my team who lost, I ended up having more XP than the top person on the enemy team because they capped within like a minute. Never cap within, well, basically any time unless you really have to and it's going to secure the, you the win where your team would never be able to get the win. Because remember, taking out the opponents in the game gives you the most XP within the game because you're dealing well, you're getting the enemies destroyed, which gives you more XP than if you were to deal damage or potentially to cap uh, the enemy base. So it's really important that you go for the enemies destroyed as opposed to getting the cap win because you'll get less XP, you'll get less silver. And ultimately, it's a boring way to play, at least in my personal opinion, jumping into the cap circle. Uh, yeah, that's kind of my opinion on that as well. So that kind of gives you a good overview as to how XP really works. It's down to a combination of factors. It's down to how you play. It's down to uh, the XP boosters that you can use. And also remember that when you're playing in platoons, you can get bonus operations that give you 5% more XP um, as part with like the platoon up event that Wargaming release every now and again. And you can also get more XP uh, from performing a variety of other additional challenges. So keep an eye out as to the challenges. Keep an eye out as to uh, the events that Wargaming bring in. And one of the most important events that you can possibly uh, ever do on World of Tanks console is the String Theory operation. Whereby if you can string a couple of wins together you get double XP, triple XP 
all the way up to five times XP. Um, and then if you continue to win five games in a row, you will be able to get times five XP on every single win after five wins in a row. And that means that, you know, if you could somehow string 20 wins in a row, if you're playing with some really, really amazing players and you're being um, very good in your platoon, and you're performing really well, you could effectively get like five times XP for 20 games. And actually, from my personal experience, I ended up playing the Panzer 5-4 in a platoon of three people where we won something like 40 games in a row where literally the enemy team just couldn't deal with it. I mean, that is a very... <laughs> unique perspective on trying to win a load in a row but it was just to showcase that actually it is possible to win like a ton in a row if you're with it in a platoon but primarily when I play in a normal platoon where we're not playing a blatantly overpowered tier 5 vehicle against people that have barely played the game you can quite easily string together like 10 wins in a row if you are playing with really high tier players, you know, 60% win rate. So if you know anyone else that has the high win rates in World of Tanks console, make sure to platoon up with them because that will get you more XP because you're winning more games uh, and therefore you're not having to spend as many games getting the uh, reduction due to losing the game. So make sure that you are trying to win as many and in doing so you can platoon up with other people that can guarantee you that or at least uh, guarantee you to win a little bit more than if you were to solo queue and of Obviously, the 5% bonus XP currently in World of Tanks is nice when you platoon up with your friends as well. So that kind of gives you a big overview. Hopefully that was a good explainer as to how you can earn the ridiculous amounts of XP. And during String Theory, I've been able to get like 30,000 XP in one singular game using times 5 XP boosts, as we talked about, using String Theory, and then using some of the other additional v events that have come in during the uh, during the game. And so if you combine them all together, yeah, you can earn like 30,000 XP in one game. And if you were to manage to somehow do that, over a load of games you can effectively grind through entire tech trees in like one day and I've actually managed to go from like tier 7 all the way to tier 10 in a single day when playing string theory albeit I do have 63% win rate so it's going to be slightly easier for me to be able to do it unless uh, comparatively to someone with like 48% win rate it's going to be slightly harder or in fact quite a lot harder but the premise still stands if you can take advantage of everything you'll get so much more XP and it's about being uh, kind of thinking about it logically and not just you know using them willy-nilly making sure that you optimize when you're going to use them is the best option for you and so hopefully that was a good introduction to how you can earn more XP and we'll be doing some more kind of guide videos and how to actually get better at World of Tanks and if you are interested in getting better and learning about the game then I have a playlist on screen right here on the right hand side of the video that is the how to get better at World of Tanks. We've got top 5 tips, we've got top 5 vehicles, we've got loads of different vehicles. Um, and how to play them, how to play light tanks, heavies, etc. in that playlist, so check that out. And then on the left hand side, we have the latest gameplay and tank reviews pl uh, playlist as well, which showcase loads of different tanks and give you an idea as to how to play them. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it helped. And let me know in the comment section down below whether you liked it. And I'll see you in one of those videos, hopefully. Goodbye.